a professional operator, Dad. Don't question me. He's a professional bull crapper. Morning, everybody. Welcome back to a beautiful 40 degree Iowa morning. So today we're gonna to be planting corn and soybeans. But in order to do that, we need to get some seed loaded. Got Cooper's Unverfirth Corn Tender here right now. We're gonna take those boxes off, put some new ones on, and then Dad should be here in a little bit with his seed tender. We're gonna load them up with some beans. Sorry, soybeans. Do you lie awake at night? Are you afraid to try? Unverfirth. We're gonna take the tickler bone, petty bone, petty bone, petty bone. I don't know, it just seems like it should be a tickler bone. They need to let me name stuff. I'd be <laughs> better off, because then I can stay with the right name. Oh, this is nice, I like it. You just have to push this thing up by hand. One thing with this unit here, you gotta move the truck like three times to get the boxes full. Where the big center fills, they're nice. You just fill her up. Holy cow, Cooper, I see your snack stash down there. It's not mine, that was Sable's. Uh oh, Coop, it's starting to rain. You know what? Oh yeah, don't fall in that, jeez. We'll let dad come find this at night. <laughs> don't tell him about the hole though. Oh, I will. Got her done just as the rain's coming. Picking up a little bit of mud. And just like that, we pulled a classic Iowa move and we had rain, went in, ate lunch, came back out, wind's blowing, it's dry. We're gonna go back to planting, ladies and gentlemen. And there goes Cooper. So while it was raining, I was down here in the shop and I remembered that we had some leftover seed from actually two years ago, still sitting down here, and it was sitting in this little tote. Eight bags worth were in there. That's $2,000 worth of seed. So that seed's two years old, and then we have these four bags here. Those are from last year. So we're gonna throw it in the ground because it's like $3,000 worth of seed. Oh, hi, Anna. Hi, girl. Oh, hi. <laughs> I love it. I love it! All right, some sort of issue with the 24 row planter. This side, it wants to go up in the air while that side stays down. We've had like four people look at it. No one can agree on what it is. No one wants to work on it during planting season. Then in the off season, we try to have them come out and they're like, oh, just wait, just wait. And then planting season rolls around again. So still waiting to figure out what's going on over there. Hey, Coop, your window's broken. Did you do that? Because I didn't. Cooper's got to go to a dance recital that he's dancing in. So I'm going to run the planter for him, but I've never planted before. So he's got to teach me the ropes on this thing. Straight lines, Coop. You're right by the road. Gives the neighbor something to look at. What do you do if you drop your sunglasses in there? Hope you can find them. All right, Coop, how do you think I'm gonna do? Well, I guess we'll find out when I come back in three hours. Oh, make sure if you ever pull your caps off your tanks, you shut your air off, pull your head off. Okay, how do we run this thing? Cooper! Anytime you hop into something new, it just, it feels weird. And I can tell where Cooper puts his foot. Right up there like that. Nice leg stretcher. Now it just needs a little cup right down here where you can just set your foot and just let it rest. They sell ice cream cones at this gas station? I tell you guys what, the Thunder Creek fuel trailer is super nice to have. Because normally I'd have to fold up the planter, drive down to the main farm, fill it from a tank there, or would we use a 110 gallon tank in the back of the dually, which that works pretty good, but it never fails. You also have to fill up another tractor at the same time, and the 110 gallons doesn't even fill this tractor, so trying to fill multiple tractors off that, it's just kind of a pain. Ah, uh, sorry Sable, I don't have any money for a tip. Okay, I shut the tractor off, I'm taking the tractor. Huh, those rows are crooked. How'd that happen? Ah, silly rock. We are going to a whole different number that we're gonna be planting on beans. This is a champion number. Hey, look at this, we've got a wild bear coming at us. <laughs> oh, you're like a bear. You are a bear. Yeah. <laughs> come on, girl, come on. Come on, Kelly. Whoa, this is Kelly. 
Lily. This is our neighbor's dog. She is wild, but she is the nicest dog. She doesn't bite even when she's eating your hand. Let's get this planter filled up. Sword fight? Oh, ah, come on, let's have a sword fight. Hey, geez, dog, you're wild. You are wild. That dog has a lot of energy. Okay, the old sun is starting to go down. Where are the lights in this thing? No good flashers. Now that I have a couple hours of seat time here, I think it's fair that I can at least give a somewhat accurate review. Is that the word I'm looking for? Of, of what it's like to run the planter. Right off the bat, there are a ton of things you have to keep an eye on. First off, we gotta make sure the trend coming up isn't too bumpy. And if it is, then we gotta downshift. We gotta make sure all of our RPMs, fuel, all that good stuff is in check where it's supposed to be. Oh, did I mention we just seen a rock? Hey, better make sure that's not gonna hit something. Then we're looking up here at this little monitor, making sure everything is looking okay there and then we got this monitor here we got a ton of stuff going on but overall i'm having a, a pretty pleasant experience so we just got the field done 105 acres and we got help cooper good job coop good form good form Woo -wee. just got home run the old truck in the shed the seed both tenders are empty it's about 11 o'clock i am tired i'm hungry time to head in put some food on my plate tell you what guys the old moon is out tonight wow so i just ran in the house quick i grabbed some supper cooper and i are gonna switch spots here i'm gonna probably end up running i don't know might run all night might not i don't know we'll see but before we go switch with him i need to hop in the telehandler here i need to get that box of corn loaded on cooper's seed tender and I also need to get these five boxes of beans outside and then we're gonna shut the doors. It's supposed to be really windy tomorrow and when it's really windy, the doors push against the little sliding frame. I don't even know what you wanna call it, the little track of the door and then you can't open the doors. So all of our seeds in here, if we can't open the doors, we're not gonna be able to plant. So dad should be able to plant these five boxes tomorrow and then that's our last of our corn on corn seed right there. <sighs> and then we'll switch with Cooper. Man, it's gonna look empty in here. The seed on the seed tenders, the rest of the corn on corn. If we need individual bags, I threw that pallet of bags in the heated shop. And then all the beans are right outside. There's five of them outside the door. If we can get almost this done, or I don't know how it's late, but... Then you'll be able to get done with corn on corn tomorrow. Oh, that's corn easy. Yeah, okay. Ah, hello, cab again just checking in with everybody it's about two o'clock in the morning going strong i just went through my little first little sleepy wave but played some music my butt's going now so we should be good for a few more hours all right guys it is 5 24 in the morning we got sun starting to poke up over there 158 acres done in this field so far there's like 210 here so we're gonna get her done. I've pretty much given you guys the whole spiel of what I've been doing like the past 12, 14 hours. I don't even know, but it's eight o'clock in the morning. We've got 200 acres done here. This field's done. I'm gonna go to bed. Okay, let's see. Ah, beautiful morning. Beautiful morning. It's supposed to be like 85 degrees today, which is like 30 degrees warmer than it was yesterday. Oh, hey, my little rabbit friend's back. Come here, Peter. Oh, Peter. Oh, don't run away. Okay, Peter, we'll let you be. Hey, this is just a reminder that we have Cornstar Farms merch available through the link in the description. And 40% of you guys watching are not subscribed. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, be sure to do that. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.